Today is Monday, March 22nd, and the time is 6.01 p.m., and we are opening the Recreation Committee meeting. As a preliminary matter, this is Mike Volpone, Chair of the Newby Recreation Committee. Permit me to confirm that all members, persons anticipating the agenda and are present and can hear me. Board members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. David Broll. Affirmative. David Dempsey is absent. He sent an email. Celine Muldowney. Affirmative. He's here. Mark Sand. Affirmative. Alicia Greco is not here. We are hoping to have Chris Huntress show up. Uh, they got the invite. I'm hoping they get to it. I'm making sure that I didn't miss it by any chance. Nope, they didn't miss it. Um, good evening. Today is March 22nd, an open meeting in the Newby Recreation Committee, which is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020. It's been a whole year. Due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus, in order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gathering as such. The governor's order suspends the requirement of open meeting law to have all meetings in a public accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which can be found posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to, do, to meet entirely remotely as long as the reasonable public access is afforded so the public can follow along with deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public comment, I hope. Um, for this meeting, the Newby Recreation Committee is convening by video conference via Zoom is posted on the Recreation Committee agenda, which can be found on the Recreation Committee page on the town's website. The agenda identifies how the public may join the meeting. This agenda can also be accessed from the web's home page by clicking on the box that says agendas at the top of the news box. Please note this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference accordingly. Please be aware that, many, that other folks may be able to see you and that take care not to screen share your computer unless you're requested to do so by me. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Materials were provided to the board committee member prior to the meeting for review. Uh, we are run, we are turning on, we're turning to the first item of the agenda. Please, before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of other of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. For any discussion items, I, the chair, will go down the list of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, everyone other than board members. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking. Please use earbuds, earphones, with tablets, cell phones. Please remember to speak clearly in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. Take care not to screen, not to share your screen. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. Board members will be called upon in first name alphabetical order to ease the process. If board members wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourselves. Um, finally, each vote is taken in this agenda will be conducted by a roll call vote. We are now on to the agenda. God, I really wish, I actually can't wait to see you guys again so I can stop saying that every day. Um, we did the members present, uh, reading the previous minutes, meetings minutes, Mark posted those this afternoon. Did everybody get a chance to check them out? Cause I did not find any problems, um, with any of it. None. Celine? It looks okay. All right. Do I hear a motion to accept the, min the minutes of the previous meeting? Can I make a motion to accept the minutes of the meeting as presented? Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Celine? Yes. Mark? Uh, yes. David? Yes. I don't have to say David Brohl and David Dempsey tonight, so I'm going to enjoy it. Sorry, David. That's okay. <laughs> Um, correspondence. The only thing I got and I added it to the agenda was a list of area walking trails that we received from somebody wanting to know and they reached out to the town administrator and to Alicia to see if we could provide that information. Does anybody have that? That's what we'll be discussing in a, in a new business. Um, that's it for correspondence that I received. Any bills or claims, Celine? Uh, there's another Townsend bill. How much is this for? Six fifty-seven eighty-five. 
Why so much? I don't know. And I have to admit, I haven't paid it. And because um, I was trying to bring it up on the other computer and I couldn't. And I know I was supposed to investigate it and it just didn't happen. Seems ridiculous. So our concern is that it's a lot of money considering it's closed. Yeah. yeah. And like maybe the town, maybe town employees are leaving the heat on. Has anybody been inside the building? Not in over a year. Well, I, I mean, do, yep, go ahead, Mark. Uh, I do see DPW back there um, entering the building at times. So I, I don't know if they're just going in to check to make sure that, and I know that Tracy had indicated that she would request that they check it on a weekly basis to prevent any uh, mass, massive catastrophe. Um, are they leaving it higher? I, I, I just don't know what, what the cost is for PTU for a place like that. Um, I'm an oil guy, electric, so propane, I have no idea what's appropriate. I don't think it should be that out of whack. Well, we, is, is it propane or is it oil that we're paying the 645 for? It's probably propane. Propane, I think. Yeah, yeah I propane. Mean, it's, like, it's like $5 a, a unit, but still, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like something running constantly. Yeah, there's something weird about that. Does somebody Can somebody go over there and... I don't have a key. And the codes aren't working because I tried that too, the, uh, the security pad thing. I'd have to reach out to Susan, see if she can reactivate the codes. But I will, let me do this then. I will reach out to um, Tracy to say, hey, our bill, we've gotten three bills consecutive for over $500 each for propane at a building that's not being used. What's going on? Does she, can she help? Sorry, I'm just writing this down so I have it. Okay. Um, anything else, Celine? Hold off on that bill until we find out what's going on. Hey, it's from March 16th, so. Okay. Because um, just so everybody's aware, and I will actually share, well, can you let me share my screen, Celine? Wait a second. How do I do that? Oh, up here. Ooh. Okay. All right. So everybody can see, this is where, as of 3-1, so three weeks ago, where we stood. So appropriated 50,000, expended available 40,000, and that includes the, um, the field work that was done here, the 79. So you figure another eight grand, we're at 32. But if we're paying Townsend Oil 572 here, we still haven't got, that's in February. Do you have additional invoices beyond that, Celine, from the from February, or is it other than the one you have now? I thought there were three bills. I thought last the last uh, meeting I had that was the second bill, and this is the third. I don't right. have it on this computer, so. Um, so you figured that was twelve. That's twelve hundred dollars there. December was five eighty something, I believe. This 572. Yeah, that's weird how it's going up. All right. So realistically, we probably have about 30 grand after the expenses, after the uh, field for the spring and these two bills, but we still have other things coming on. So we've got to keep that number in the back of our head on what's going on. So I want everybody to see this. I sent this to everybody previously. So, um, And then I need, which we'll talk about in a second. I just got to pull this up to make sure I have it. But the, uh, looking at that spreadsheet, I didn't see any 
expenditures for Huntress that we allocated for. And we paid back, uh, I think we got an invoice back in December, Celine. Yeah, we paid them a while ago. But it doesn't show up on that document. I didn't see it. And I think we allocated just under 10,000. It was like nine, I think 89 and change yeah. is what it worked out to. And that would have happened definitely in this fiscal. So Mark, you're hundred percent right. So now we're down, now we're thinking 20 grand. And then we allocated 10,000 for Kent Way. Well, we appropriated, we appropriated that, but we haven't sent it over yet or done anything with it yet. We said so if we, we got to that point. We encumbered it, yeah. Tracy said that we had $30,000 left in our account when I approached her I, I email after Thursday's bid announcements. Okay. Uh, so from one of the things we were hoping to do tonight is to figure out what we're going to do with the basketball court, which we'll talk about in a second. I think I don't know if I'm make sure we're there before I speak my speak out of turn. Uh, review, all right, so yeah, so we're now in all, all business, the basketball court, RP decision. So this is um, these are the numbers that came in from the bids. Which the bottom one don't even even consider it. The fact that they thought it was going to cost almost four hundred sixty four thousand dollars when everybody else didn't get even near three. I was like, I started hearing the numbers. I'm like, this is insane. But I was one. This is kind of where I was. Chris was here because the resilient tile basketball surfacing got alternate number eight, and I thought that was supposed to be alternate number two. which if you look at Green Acres, kind of where everything was, uh, I mean, Vermont Recreation, they were at 128 and then 10,000 for all to number two. So, which was the additional four basketball hoops, which was, they were the both low bids. So just under 139,000, but their alternate eight was the set was, well, third highest, not anything crazy, but it was 20, 20 and a change. So you're talking about $165,000 roughly between those three pieces. But that still doesn't help us in the situation because at 109, if we took the 20 grand that we had in the account and did it, we still don't make, we barely make the initial low bid. And unfortunately we can only hold these bids for 30 days. So, um, Can we straddle uh, I, it between two fiscal years? We could, but I got to find out if the bids, we'd have to accept it and tell them the work doesn't start until, but we'd have to figure out the way they're going to look at it. We'd have to start, the, we'd have to approve the low bid, take everything else we had in the account, knowing that we couldn't spend anything else between now and January to July, July 1, and hope we have enough to get there. I also Come plan on reaching out to the paper to try to see if I can raise some more money. Explain to your point. Um, I'm not certain, but I don't think um, they can accept a bid without having all the monies in place. They did for the field place. house. Well, we got we got the money approved, and then they put the other twenty. Then they came in the other bid, and we they approved it. So we would have to go to the town and say we want to accept the low bid. Can you confirm the money that we have? Because we have the 90 approved from the town, the 19 from the two organizations puts us at 109. If we can pull 20 grand, we'd be at 129 and you're literally $800, $821 away from being that. And that's a question. And then we have to see if we can somehow raise the additional money. We don't have to fall into bid order, the alternate order at that point. But I would like to get, I mean, I wanted to get the four basketball hoops up. And then worst case, but we'd still be looking at, if we can't raise additional money before July 1st, I don't know how we can put the other two hoops up and do the, the court. 
Okay, the four additional uh, goal posts and backboard and rims, from what I remember, I think it was Alicia saying is, is a possibility because it is not part of the original bid. But to straddle two uh, fiscal years, I, again, I don't think we can do and I don't think we can hope to raise the money. The, in order for the town accountant to sign off on, on a bid, they need to know that all funds to pay for it are in place. So yeah, the only thing that right now, if we wanted to approve tonight, to saying we make a motion to approve the base low bidder at 128,179, contingent that we have proof of the money in the account that we're able to take, then we have to get confirmation from the treasurer to confirm and the town administrator to say, yes, we have the money in our account based on what we have. And then we can at least start the work and get things done after that, then we got to see what we can do regarding to the other work. I don't, there's no way in the world we have the extra 10 to add the four hoops. No, and, and what he was saying was that um, the way the bid is set up, they will put in the basis for the four hoops yeah. and four hoops. And if we ended up while they're building it, if we end up going into July, like the work is done in July or August or September, October, November, I'm not really sure. If we appropriate the 10 or 12 or thousand dollars by the hoops ourselves, he said that they he doesn't believe that they would have any problem dropping them in place for us. That's what um, Chris said. Yep. So that might be the best avenue to go. So since we're under the under the piece and the, the old business right now, the question is, do we do we want to go that way? I mean, I want, to amend, I want to go ahead. Celine. Can we always amend what kind of decision we make if we end up getting funds that are in, you know, more positive favor? So if you're saying if we approve tonight the low bid and then we were fortunate for some reason, somehow out there, we accrued another 50 grand. I'm throwing a number out. We then could then take pieces to get the rest of the project done yes we can because we're only approving the low bid piece and then after that we're doing it out of money raised for the project but to even get this thing off the ground we have to approve the low bid and have confirmation that we have the money to pay for it before we can touch it yep. before we can even proceed and if we don't do that it doesn't matter going to get the money we can write the check back to the triton youth basketball and try again another time um, the 90,000 would sit there. I don't know how long, um, but we'd have to go back to the town and ask for more money without it. Or, or have them hold on to the money, as Alicia said at the last meeting, to go back. She would not recommend going back to a town meeting, trying to secure additional funds after we made an initial request of 80 or excuse me, $90,000 um, that we would have, she would not recommend doing that. I don't uh, recommend yeah. it either. I'm just saying these are, yeah. I'm open to options right now. I think we should just approve that um, the initial low bid from Vermont because Chris seemed to think that that was a decent company um, that could do the job. Uh, if we get approval from the town to, to approve that bid, then we figure out what their timeline is. If the timeline brings us into our past June when we get our next uh, budget. Then at that point, um, see if we can come up with money to buy four hoops and see what it what the, the process is to get the extra four hoops. At least we got the court on the ground. Um, I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm afraid if we don't if we don't do it now, um, it will run away from us as far as cost and everything else. Mark, Mark could, you, could you throw up the screen um, with our expenditures to date? Again, I don't mean to be harping on a budget, but I, I, I don't know how much we spend annually for Mellow off the top of my head or for Burkett or for Byfield Water because all that comes in. These are um, reoccurring 
um, uh, the spending is not necessarily dis they're not discretionary. Here's the, here's, we, here's the report as of March 1st. Oh, so, so last year, DeFilippo was like five grand was the contract we had with him. Five grand, I don't remember that. At the beginning and about June of last year, we received a letter via the town administrator outlining the, the agreement with uh, DeFilippo for services, including opening up uh, and closing the irrigation as well as some minor repairs. Because um, we don't get a bill from him every uh, throughout the year, do we? We do get bills. There's a few bills right there that. Yeah, he bills us. Okay. Bears. He bills us each time. I don't. I don't have it in front of me. I apologize. It's on. It's on another computer, and I, I really, just pay the bills. I don't spread sheet them out like. And the Burkett does. is the uh, fire alarm system. How much is that? I think is that's that quarterly. I don't think that's quarterly. I, again, I don't have them in front of me. If I had I known that I needed to pull this together. Okay, um, Townsend. Um, Just a second, I'm trying to find that. I mean, I would have to go back and pull all the bill schedules for this year, which I've probably done half a dozen. I mean, I can reach, we can reach out to. Um, well, I can George do it. I just haven't had the time. I didn't know that that was on the, you know, I no. literally just pay the bills. I don't really. I had a, oh, there it is. I was like, I knew I had a spending plan, but it was two years old. This is. This is the spending plan that we had put into, we had looked at before. DeFilippo was, I can't do multiple screen sharing. I apologize. I don't have that. Um, but I have all the documents if I need to flip it up. So here's, here's what's out, expended and stuff. And there's this. So. Oops. I mean, realistically, we spent $36,000, but we were talking about here, cleaning service, we're not paying for that right now. We didn't do the furniture. So if you take that out, that's nine grand, so you're talking 25 a year. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at Townsend at 3,600 in the last three months we've spent um, 1500 easily. Easily, yeah. I mean, 17, 1800 almost. I don't see Byfield water on that. The alarm system is at 600. And the last Burkett we had was, we just showed up was 300 and something. All right. So I'm going to have to get some. The problem we have is, and we're going to have to either vote on this tonight with a contingent, or we're going to have to get back together, pull the numbers together, and we're going to have to do it in the next two weeks because we only have 30 days. So we have until April 18th to make a decision on whether we want to do it or not. So we either get with the town. Um, I mean, we could handle the rest of the business real quick, end it for tonight, and then schedule another time and make sure Tracy, Alicia, and Chris are on the thing to make sure, and the treasurer are on, so we have all the numbers so we can make work to sit and we can make the decision and then notify them. So. Um, if we're concerned about the money, which we should be, um, I think we would be best to almost reschedule our meeting tonight and go out two weeks and finish up what we need to tonight, the That's last two things on the agenda, and then make it a meeting in two weeks, which would be April sure 5th. Down, uh, April 5th. Yeah, I'm just making sure the calendar doesn't have people 
where all of a sudden they're jumping on other stuff. I did not want that. You guys just have to tell me what information you want from me specifically, because I- No, I'm gonna get everything from the town. I'm not gonna make you go looking through stuff. I'm gonna- No, I don't mind doing, I, I can bring you all the, I can bring you the last six month bill schedules or since July or whatever that I've paid. Yeah. Um, but you, you just need to tell me that in advance because it's on a totally different computer. And time is tight. Sorry, I hope you guys didn't hear me or whatever, but I, I just locked up. Yeah, they're all frozen. We, yeah, you're frozen, but we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear okay. you. Can you see the screen? No. I'm trying to, I'm hoping, I'll, I got a feeling I'm gonna get kicked in a second. And if I do, I apologize. I'll come right back on. Um, I see Mark moving. I'm moving. David, there's David. Celine, can you move? All right. Can you guys all now see me again? No. No. Nope. Right. I can see. You. I'm. I'm still. Well, I'm still hung up right now because I can't. I'm trying to share this, but I did realize there is nothing on March on April 5th for our calendar. I think we lost him. Along with a list of walking area walking trails. Mike, you're, I, know, you're, I don't have Mike, anything like that. We have to, unless Mike, there's something available. Mike, you're fading out. I'm here showing twice. I didn't realize I was up here twice. So there you go. We we didn't hear anything from the last three minutes. Yeah. We just, um, yeah. All right. So we know right now there's no there's nothing scheduled for the fifth. So if we move the meeting to the fifth, we get, get make sure we get Tracy, we get Alicia, we get Chris, we make sure we get all those particulars, we can do it. And we can pull the numbers to make sure it's saying, yes, we can do this. No, we can't from a financial standpoint. We'll check into the Townsend as well to see what's going on with this because it's only, I feel like someone's using the facility and it's, I mean, or something's running that's causing this because it's ridiculous that we're spending $500 a month in propane. Yeah, it's more money. Sense. It's more money than what we pay in natural gas to heat our whole house. Yeah. So- it, it makes no sense. Can we get somebody over there to check it and make sure that it's not. I will add that to my Tracy list. Does anyone still have a key? Does I, I know that um, 
I gave mine back. I think they I all went back because we had the security yeah. cards. I never had a key. I will ask Susan if she can give, reenact the code so I can get in there. Yep, I'll shoot over there now when I, the meeting's over and just take a look inside and see, you know, if I can see the thermostat and if it says 85 degrees or something. Yeah, I'll have something in there pretty damn quick. Yep. Um, so the question there is then we have, if we're gonna wait on that and we can go to the fifth, we'll have everything in place. The only thing left to talk about that we need tonight is the uh, rush application for the summer, which they're asking for start date on the 16th or 14th of, the 14th of August through the 5th of, I mean, for the 14th of June through the 5th of August. So you're talking not just a summer thing it's a i mean like a one week they used to do the one week this says a start date and an end date they're looking for a summer six to six p.m to 7 30 for four nights how many fields one yeah, so right. one two three four five six seven one two three four five six Eight weeks. So we have eight weeks times fifteen dollars an hour times three six hours a week. So that'd be seven hundred twenty dollars that we'd be approving. But they're looking for field two for eight weeks for an hour and a half each night, Monday through Thursday. That seems fine. Anybody have any questions? Um, all right, I make a motion to accept. Well, uh, I, Go ahead. I have to make the motion, then we can discuss it. Okay. I'll make the motion to accept the rush summer application from starting on June 14th and extending through August 5th for four nights a week from 6 to 7.30 for field two. The proposed total based on what the fee structure is, it'd be $720. Do I hear a second? Second. All right, now we can talk discussion. What's up, Mark? Um, it is, what are the dates that we can accept and decide by for uh, summer programming? I, I realize um, our schedule doesn't, isn't ideal for those who are trying to promote a summer uh, camp or a summer activity. This seems more like a league-based. And then the other question is, I know Sphinx had, um, uh, had a request in earlier that we did not act on because it was uh, it was presented before we we were even receiving the documents. Yeah, I think the I think the acceptance we're in it now, and I think it goes into April, but I'd have to check the dates to confirm it. I can certainly reach out to Moed Sphinx to see if he still wants time. I don't think that would be a question, um, and I'm pretty sure we're, we're Rush is only looking for field two. I could give them, we, they'd probably ask for three or four and five because they wanted a, a bigger field and a smaller field. So we can probably work that out and then they can get that time as well. And I can get that application back to us for the next meeting. But I don't think where it's only one field, I mean, it's not even the weekend, so which I'm surprising, but unless someone has any real Qualm with it. I don't think. I think if we had other fields out there, we'd be okay. applications would be okay. Yeah, I just don't know if, if we're open. If we, according to our own documentation, that we are accepting and 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 making the announcement if we're too early. Let's see if I can check the town's website quick. That the document on the town website is outdated. It's not what we approved. Uh, Why was it? Do you have the one that's not with not on me right now because I'm on my uh, iPad. Normally I'm on my. I know, but can you send that to the town? Playing field and facility permit policy. Summer session. 
Application due by April 1st. They were in before then permits issued by June 1st. But that was that's an outdated. We had made a correct, we, we updated that document. I remember Mariah um, took leadership on that and it was never posted because we never confirmed the um, fee schedule for the field house. And Tracy did not want to have two or three different additions to the uh, website. She wanted us just to submit one document. But the fields uh, approval was, was uh, approved by us and approved by the board of, uh, at that time, the board of selectmen, which I don't have in front of me. All right, so do we want to then hope, hope push that one off into the next meeting as well then, or are we going to have to? I think we're going to have to at this point. Yeah. I just, at this point in the game, I know from what they're looking at their schedule and what's available, the application date, we're going to have to see what's there, but I mean, it's two weeks. Let's push yeah. it. I withdrew the motion. Um, the list of area walking trails, is anybody able to get us a list of that? Because that was asked by us um, from the town, the uh, I mean, so, somebody yes. asked for me, Tracy asked for it. I'm not sure how it, where it originated the, from there. The, the simplest thing to do is, is have the individual look at the town website, the, ninth, the uh, 2005 master plan, it's listed. There are open recreation areas that are listed there. The open space meeting also has a similar document. So just to answer for walking trails is kind of vague and open. I'm not quite sure what they're looking for. You, you could go uh, to the Greenbelt site. They have trails that sort of encompass some of Newberry and probably the trustees maybe might have. Yeah, the trustees maybe. definitely. So there's uh, not one place where everything is one spot so that's and that's what they're asking us to try to put something like that together and i'm like okay well we had some requests for it and all of a sudden now everybody's saying well we need to put it together it, it's uh, it's the question does it fall into our purview because it's beyond matter field yeah and it may not but it, a simple solution to that would be there's a uh, i have it on my phone all trails which is an app and you just go to the town of newberry and it it has a pretty pretty detailed i assume that it's that detailed the way that they do in a lot of towns show every single trail but i'll look it up but i don't think it's our duty but mark well it i take exception i think it is it's part of our responsibilities again i think um with the open space committee um to be able to identify our, all the recreational activities available uh, in the town and again, if people want to take a look at it, a little dated, the uh, 205 master plan, which we should be having an updated one coming out shortly, as well as a new uh, open space um, recommendations, they list um, quite extensively the recreational opportunities down to the ball fields um, that are available in, in town. It's part of the uh, their requirement. So the information's uh, Dated information is available. So uh, let's do this then. Let's between now and the next meeting on April 5th at 6 to 7.30, let's get a couple of lists together that we can put together a couple of links and say, here's what we have available. You can certainly look to see what you want. Is there a printed list that we're gonna generate? If we someone wants to take the lead of it, go right ahead. So. That's my opinion on this right now. And, and anybody wants to, to step up and do the work, they can go right ahead. If not, let's just pull together, David, get, send me the list links, whatever, and I'll get them added to the website. Okay. Um, so since we're not talking about the basketball court, we're gonna reschedule that. The rush application, we're gonna move to the now and then list of the walking areas. I hear a motion to close at 6.41 PM. Second. Okay. Six to seven. Um, you know, second. Any discussion? 
The only discussion is, Celine, can you send me the up, uh, uh, a, a Zoom request for April 5th, 6 to 7.30? And I'll get that out. Other than that, uh, all those in favor, Celine? Yes. David Broll? Yes. Mark Sand? Yes. Readings adjourned. Talk to you guys soon. I'm going to touch base with Trace and the other things. Bye. All right, guys. Have a good Bye. night. Bye now.